Well, um, I was really happy with, with our guys fight in the second half. Um, I felt like the energy uh, is, is what we is what we wanted all year and um, they showed a lot of toughness, a lot of fight, a lot of aggressiveness and, 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 and that's what that's what I've been looking for and, and unfortunately it, you know we did it when, when we were down twenty one, you know, and so uh, we got to be able to put together 40 minutes of that type of effort, 40 minutes of that type of attack and that type of aggressiveness and fight. But, um, you know, UCLA is a good team. You know, they're talented. They shoot the ball at all five positions. And, um, you know, we pressed them and, and they took the shot that we wanted them to take. The problem was they made them. And so, um, you know, your five man, your four man shooting threes in the corner against against the press. We want that um, because we, we we feel like um, you know the odds are in our favor uh, in situations like that. Unfortunately, they made those shots, and so uh, I think that was that was the, the the difference in the game. Can you address uh, Coach Brown's comments about the fact that you mm-hmm. Yeah, um, our guys just have to do a better job of, of, of coming out the gates ready to, to, to throw the first punch. Um, you know, it's just, um, it's hard to pinpoint, you know. Uh, you could say it's youth, but at the same time, you know, I have, I have older guys in there, you know. Uh, tonight I went with King and Marcus and, and you know, Don's a junior, and so, um, it's really hard to pinpoint why we come out uh, and wait for the other team to throw the first punch before we react. What is it you as a coach has to or wants to do? That we talk about it all the time. We talk about it all the time. And, you know, I try to put the best lineup out there that's going to give us the best fight, best chance from the start of the game. And uh, you see me juggling the lineups a little bit um, to try to get the guys that are going to be out there that are going to, that are going to bring it from the start. Um, you know, it's just it's just a situation where, for some reason, uh, we don't have good starts. You, you know. Well, we weren't we weren't aggressive in the first half. You know, we didn't we didn't look to attack the zone uh, like we did in the second half. Um, a lot more aggressiveness in the second half allowed us to 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 get good looks, uh, penetrating the kickouts, penetrating the dump offs to the big guys. Um, you know, and then we didn't capitalize in the first half. We didn't capitalize on all of the offensive rebounds that we got. And so, you, you know, I don't know how many, what do we have, 17 in the first, 17 in the first half, I think it was. And, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to get <laughs> 17, you got to get 10 of those to go down. That's, that's 20 points. And so that's the difference right there. And so, um, we just have to do a better job of capitalizing. You know, when we get steals, when we there's there's very little room for for error. Where's your uh, your confidence level at right now? Uh, with this zone press, especially after today. Are you still there? Yeah, you know, I feel good about it. Um, as long as our guys are being aggressive, as long as they're being aggressive, you know, and and you you know you see us out there, we get a couple of chippy fouls, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because that's a sign of aggressiveness. And so, um, you know, I feel I feel good about it. Um, are there are there many teams in this league that are going to knock down those three point shots with their four and five men? I, I don't think so. And so, uh, I feel good about it. What would it take for your team to play the way they did the second half with that intensity? A lot of maturity and growth mentally, you know. Um, I'm looking for the answer for that, you know, and, and I'm just like you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling, I'm going into the game feeling great, knowing we had a great week of practice and feeling really good about it. And, and then we have a slow start, and, and, and I'm shaking my head as well. So. You guys have been really good on the road this year, right mm -hmm. now. 
that's just kind of coincidence, or do you notice, is there a different mindset, or are they more aggressive, or anything different on the road? Um, I, think, I think our guys enjoy being the underdog, enjoy being the villain on the road. Um, and I've coached teams like that before who play well on the road, who, who enjoy the booze and enjoy silence in the crowd. And, um, you know, I think they, they feed off of that for whatever reason. A couple more questions for Coach. Was that Jawan's getting a little bit healthier, stronger song pressing more today? You know, like his development is progressing from the last couple of weeks. Jawan is starting to look like the guy that, that, that we always wanted him to be. Um, you know, when before he lost the 20 pounds, when he was 200 pounds, before he lost 20 and was down to 180, um, he he did the things that you, you, you saw him do tonight on a consistent basis in practice, in scrimmages. You know, he, he was he was very effective, and so um, for me, it's 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 a good feeling to, to to see him coming back to form and being able to use him. Anything else? Thanks, everyone.